What's up guys, it's Brandon and Kaylee, and today we're taking off from Charlotte, North Carolina. And we're first headed to Colorado, but after that, we don't know where we're going. So this is gonna be quite the adventure. We've got our Volkswagen ID4 loaded up. It's a 2021 rear wheel drive Pro S. Let's hop in the car and start heading west. We've charged up to 100% overnight here. The car is projecting 267 miles of range. And I did reset uh, our long-term trip here. So we're gonna have a good idea of our efficiency for this whole drive. And our first stop will be Kodak, Tennessee, and it's 203 miles away. This is our first road trip in the ID4 beyond like a couple hundred miles. Check out that video um, link up above. And before we took off for this trip, I actually went through our kind of EV pre-trip inspection of sorts. Uh, I checked all the tire pressures, washer fluid, charged it to 100%, washed it, made it all nice and clean. I made a video going through all of that as well. Um, but I'm really excited to see how the ID4 does with like continual DC fast charging on Electrify America. And I'm also curious to see how much we can rack up in savings on Electrify America free charging for three years with the ID4. So weird issue just happened. I just ran into Starbucks, got my strawberry acai refresher, and I came back out and my seat was in Kaylee's driving position, which is the number two like memory seat function and did just like start moving. It just started moving. moving. Yeah, like you left and you, like as you closed the door, it started moving. Yeah, I don't understand because this car doesn't have profiles. It doesn't have like key fob linking, but every once in a while, there's no pattern to it. The seat will just be in Kaylee's driving position. Well, and this is the only time that it's happened, like, while I was in the car. Yeah. Like, physically in the car. Like, otherwise it just happens. Like, I'll just without. be out running errands yeah. on my own, like, without Kaylee, and it, I'll just come back and the seat is, like, in short person position. I'm like, what the heck? That's not very <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, has anyone else had this function or this issue with their ID4? I'm just curious if it's me or if it's or if, or if it's like do. a thing. No good. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're going to get me Starbucks now because I have to use the bathroom and I need coffee. So it is my turn. We have made it not very far, so. We've, we've made it like 40-ish miles and two Starbucks stops in so far, so. Whoops. We're making great progress. I see the Starbucks! And we're totally using our 200-ish mile range effectively. Where is it? It's right there. there it is. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. You got your coffee, are you happy? Yeah, I, I, it looks a little... I asked for extra oat milk, and it looks like I just got a normal amount of oat milk, but it's okay. How was your muffin? Very good. The pumpkin muffins are very yummy. Are they on point? Yeah. It's too bad they only have them during the fall. Yeah. Same with the scones. It's, yeah. It's a shame. All right. But anyway, back on the road. So we're currently sitting in completely standstill traffic. Here's Google Maps showing 1137 arrival. And then we have Apple Maps showing 1247. And it just popped up that the road was closed. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Well, we've now been sitting in traffic for right about an hour or so. Uh, we've moved. I don't know, maybe a mile, if that. Probably closer to like half a mile. And it's still pretty much just completely stopped traffic and both of us really need to use the restroom, so that's fun. And there's concrete like construction barriers on both sides, so it's not even like we could go up the shoulder or turn around or like do any other sort of frowned upon things, but in a pinch you do. 
So hopefully we can exit shortly here and get to a gas station or something. We have relieved ourselves at the <laughs> gas station here. We've made it past the traffic and we're getting back on the road. Our original estimate for arriving to our first Electrify America stop was 11.11 when we left uh, the Last second Starbucks. Was, yeah. And now it's saying we'll get there at 12.41. So that added about 90 minutes to our drive so far. So that's Hopefully lovely. Hopefully we don't hit any more traffic. I sure hope not. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get back on the road and hope for the best. And hopefully we don't need any more restroom or food stops at this rate. I haven't not... even made it to the first charging stop. <laughs> and we're already three stops in. Yikes. Oops. So we're gonna be trying uh, activation on here. So select charger. Um, uh, that's gonna be four. four. Start charge. So now let's see if this works. We're charging in Kodak, Tennessee. We use the uh, CarPlay activation and it worked perfectly. Went on the touch screen, activated the station, uh, plugged in, initiated charging, went perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Uh, we're charging with a Mach-E and another ID4. And that ID4 is actually owned by a viewer of ours, so it was yeah. nice to see them. Um, and now we're walking over to Bass Pro Shops because we're gonna be charging to about 95% here in order to make it all the way to Nashville. There are two Electrify Americas between here and Nashville, um, but this is a pretty nice spot to kill some time rather than stopping at two Sam's Clubs. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and the ID4 charges pretty fast, even up high. So there's not really a huge downside to just killing some time. And we've been on the road for about four and a half hours already. And yeah. this is our first stop, so. It feels good to be out of the car for 40 minutes or so. We wandered over to Bass Pro Shops. We're breaking out the snacks here, the Uncrustables, the baby food uh, apple sauces. All the healthy goods. And we've been here like 37 minutes and we're already up to like 83%. So I think we're gonna shift our plan a little bit, go to, I think it's the Clarksville? Cooksville? Oh, Cookville, Cookville. Um, before Nashville and then bypass Nashville since Nashville Electrify America is a bit off the interstate. And then we'll just go to Clarksville after Nashville instead of going to Nashville. So we'll leave here as soon as we're done snacking. And we're charged up to 88%, 209 estimated miles. And we're not heading home. I don't know why it wants us to go home, but we're headed to, uh, what's it called? Cooksville? Cookville. Uh, and here's where we're actually going. We're going to Cookville, Tennessee, and we actually go back an hour on this drive. We just arrived in Cookville, Tennessee, and I just started this session on the Electrify America uh, CarPlay app. Let's go over some stats here quick. And since this morning, we've driven 324 miles, and this leg we did 119 miles, 2.9 mile per kilowatt hour. Let's go plug in, and it should just be a matter of plugging in here. weird is you have to unclip that's an old school station and you can see I did remove my little CCS doohickey there we go plugged in let's take a look at the screen here sorry about the wind that says connecting to vehicle hopefully you can see that 
and I hear contactors clicking, initiating charging. And welcome Brandon, unlimited, zero dollars, it's 94. And I hear the cable cooling going and we're at 32% and ramping up quickly. This is a pretty easy little leg. Uh, we did have to make a restroom stop for Kaylee because she's on a new hydration kick, which I'm proud of her for. She doesn't normally drink enough water, but it does mean frequent restroom stops. That's her new 40 ounce water bottle. That's her baby. But anyway, we're probably going to run into Sam's Club. I think we only needed a charge to about 75, 80% here uh, to make it all the way to Clarksville to bypass Nashville. Do we need any shape? I don't think we need anything, but we'll probably use the restroom again and then wander about for a few minutes. Okay. What do we charge up to? <laughs> we charged to 84% in Cookville. <laughs> we're now heading through Nashville and we're heading to Clarksville. Uh, I think that's our last Tennessee's charge, I think. Probably. Uh, then we go through Kentucky a little bit and then we'll be in Illinois. Uh, yeah, we charged 84%. Right now it's saying we'll, we have 194 miles estimated and we've driven a little bit, 82% now. And so far, since we left this morning, we've driven 332 miles, averaging three miles per kilowatt hour. So not too terrible. made it to Clarksville, Tennessee. Here are some driving stats for you guys. So far 446 miles, 122 miles on this leg. And let's activate our station here. We're at Electrify America, of course. And there we are. Details. Select charger. We're at number four. Start charge. There we go. Let's head out there, get plugged in. Pop open the charge port. Grab the handle here. Another one that's plugged in weird. Just like that, plugged in. Make sure it starts here. Hopefully. Super promising. Oh, charger unavailable. Uh, we're gonna switch to charger number two, I guess. Or number three. Well, I just activated number three now. Let's see if it will work for us. Pull this cable out. Hopefully it reaches. I think it will. Let's see. And connecting to vehicle. It says initiating charging. Let's try an Apple wallet. So certainly not without issues, but initiating charging, let's make sure it actually starts charging here. That's promising, has my name, shows ID4 charging plan. And we're getting power, we're starting with 31%, we definitely overcharged at the last station. 
and just like that we're ramping up so brandon decided to steal my hat i think it's a really good look at on him also we charged to 74 percent and we have 97 miles to drive the car is estimating 177 miles of range but i'd rather have more range than not enough you look very hipster i like it if it was like <laughs> slightly bigger it would actually fit my head and then it wouldn't actually look that ridiculous i feel like <laughs> but it it literally doesn't go over my head is the problem my I, head my head's way too big i think you need to get a matching one <laughs> could be our new thing <laughs> oh god <laughs> well we're heading to paducah um i guess someone just pulled out in front of us yeah so yeah um is that what just, state's that in kentucky yeah we're headed to kentucky we'll be out of tennessee i don't know if we're upgrading or downgrading going to kentucky <laughs> but so, yeah we have about 100 more miles to there yeah and then we'll cross into illinois and then that's where we'll be spending the night paducah should be our last charging stop of today because our hotel has charging so we can roll in pretty low and our hotel is outside of st louis yeah <laughs> and now that we have your attention, if you want to follow our adventures like as they happen versus days, weeks, potentially even months after they happen, follow us on Instagram, link down below, but it's at Brandon and Kaylee. We post some funny things and a lot of like day-to-day -day life too, so not even just like when we're on the road or when we're doing exciting things, but just fun stuff. Yep. try this again we're in Paducah Kentucky there's Walmart and we're on the Electrify America CarPlay app and let's activate it and we're on number three start charge and let's go outside and get plugged in and these are actually back-end style kind of like Tesla superchargers and they've got the nice green glow as pretty much every Electrify America either has a green glow or like um, uh, light strip and I'm finding that having removed the little cover for the CCS pins is a great decision I'm very happy with that and connecting to vehicle that's promising I think we're at like 24% or so so not very low initiating charging we like that I hear clicking. And just like that, welcome Brandon. Continue. And we're getting power, 24%. I was exactly correct, surprisingly. And I like that these stations show the charge speed requested as well. I think that's a nifty touch. And we should get full 125 kilowatt here, 24%. It holds full power until 39%. We're ramping quickly. And just like that, 127 kilowatts, so 125 plus a little bit of uh, thermal overhead, or 128 now. And here we have the four stall install. So we've got our 150 and 50 kilowatt Chatamo. We've got two 350, or sorry, one 350 station with two cables, another 350 with two cables, and we got a 150 with two cables. Normally I don't try and take a 350 kilowatt station if I can avoid it. However, this stall is a little tight next to this uh, cart corral, so I didn't want to park there. So are we going to run into Walmart? grab some snacks maybe a drink or something uh, this is our last stop before we head to our hotel in O'Fallon Illinois and Kaylee's tired and watching a video on her phone in the car well we just finished charging up to 86% we ran into Walmart and got some of course healthiest snacks ever uh, I got a naked drink I got some Milano's and Kaylee got some popcorn chips what are they called 
Pop I don't chip. know, something like that. Some sort of popcorn mm. chip. There's lots of them on the market now. Okay. Well, they were kettle corn flavored, and it was my first time having them. And they were quite delicious. I was impressed. But this is our final charging stop for today. And now we're headed to O'Fallon, Illinois for our hotel. I think it's the Fairfield? I said it was a Hampton. Oh, right? Hampton Inn. Uh, I don't know. Let's look at CarPlay. Whatever it is, it is, it's 154 miles away. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. We'll show you guys when we get there. I I'm pretty sure you said Hampton. I think it's a Hampton Inn, but it looked quite nice, and it has charging. Hopefully they're available still, because we're going to be rolling in at almost 10 p.m. But yeah, we should get on the road. Yeah. We made it to our hotel with 4%, 5 miles. And here are some stats. 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour, pretty bad, but we were going pretty quick. And quick. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't hear Kaylee, she said obnoxiously quick. Uh, and we went almost 700 miles today. Uh, it would have been faster and we would have gotten here earlier than 9 p.m. if it hadn't been for the traffic jam in Asheville, but not too bad. We're gonna go get checked into the hotel and get settled in. We made it to our hotel, the Hampton Inn, O'Fallon, Illinois. We're both beyond drained. Um, I showed you guys the efficiency in the car, but I need to run back down to the car, grab some more stuff, and we're going to go to bed because we need to hit the road tomorrow. But tomorrow is actually going to be a really short day. I think we only have like 300 miles to do, which is less than half of what we did today. And we have level 2 charging, so... We'll be starting tomorrow with full charge, so it should be pretty easy. Let me show you guys the room here quick. Good night. <laughs> and just like that, we're off to bed. Good morning. We're starting off the day in O'Fallon, Illinois. We charged overnight, we're at 97%, and we're first heading to Starbucks, across the interstate here, about a mile away, and then we're headed to the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, since if you watched our video going to Charlotte, I believe it was, when we were in the Porsche and the Tesla, we struggled to find parking, but I actually did some research this time to know where to park to go to the Gateway Arch. And it helps that we don't have two cars this time to yeah. deal with. Kaylee's not a huge fan of the Gateway Arch, but I've never been, so we're going anyway, and if it sucks, it sucks. If it's cool, it's cool. It's one of those things that it's like, it's just like an arch. So it's like, you see it once, you yeah. take a couple pictures of it, and that's cool. And I think like you can go up into it, but you can't do that because of COVID. No, I, they have that open now. Oh. But it's limited, like, access. I don't know. Which I'm sure we did. We, we, there's a plan ahead thing that we did not take care of, so. I mean, Tuesday, middle of the day, maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, but. Yeah, Starbucks first, then Gateway Arch. We're only about 15 minutes east of Gateway Arch right now. Kaylee, what you doing? Shoving it into the trash bottle. Oh, I've got more trash for you then. The bottle was not very big. I guess. <laughs> anyway, we got our Starbucks. What'd you get, Kaylee? A uh, quad shot with oat milk. And I got an iced apple crisp macchiato, quad shot, blonde espresso, light ice, oat milk. Me. I got a quad <laughs> spot with oat milk. Brandon, I got this and this and this and this and this. And I also got a pumpkin scone, which are delicious. I and now, you said that yesterday, too. <laughs> it doesn't change that they're delicious. <laughs> but anyway, we're off to Gateway Arch now. It's a whopping 17-mile drive, apparently 20 minutes. As you guys can see, we made it to the Gateway Arch, <laughs> very obviously. Well, ducks, you can see a little bit more of it, maybe like that. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, and we're gonna wander around a little bit and show you guys around.
This was supposed to be in Newport. <laughs> was it? Yeah. How did I get stuck with this? We shot some photos with the arch itself uh, and now we're going down to the gift shop since photos and gift shop and tours are basically the only thing you can do here. Uh, but we checked and there are no tours available today until like way late in the evening and we're not sticking around in St. Louis long enough for us to go on that. So photos and gift shop it is. What is with you in escalators? <laughs> Why do you struggle so much? I don't know. We made it through security, we're going to the store and maybe cafe now. made it back to the parking garage here with our ID4 and let's see where we're going next. So we're St. Louis currently and we're heading west towards Kansas City. I zoomed or I went too far there. We're going for a super or uh, electrify America in this area. There we go. We're going to navigate. And we'll hit go. and we'll get on the road. Wait, I mean... Are both of us in it? Yeah! <laughs> so Kaylee, what did, what did we do at the Gateway Arch? So we... I had my coffee. We had a nice time while I drank and enjoyed my coffee. And then we took some pictures and just walked around a little bit and then we went to the little gift shop to get our pin which we collect for every national park we go to and eventually we'll put them on a little board, board or, something. <laughs> or something to do uh, and then yeah we just kind of walked around that little area there was a little exhibit there and now we're heading out yeah it would have been kind of cool to like go through the museum but I mean, we're not on like a time crunch, time crunch, but we didn't have time to spend like all day looking through the like exhibits and stuff, but yeah, it was nice to wander through and definitely places I wouldn't mind going back to and maybe like spending some more time at. Well, it it's definitely nice because it's one of those places that you, t if you road trip a lot, you tend to go through. So it's a nice, easy stop and getting in and out of yeah. the city, at least today on a Tuesday morning was really easy. So. Yeah, it was pretty much smack dab in the middle of the country, so... Yeah, unless you're gonna... I pass through this, I feel like, area a lot. I mean, somehow I don't, but I usually end up going either, like, through Texas or through Minnesota when yeah. I go cross country, just because, like, I know people. So, for me, it's not as often that I go through the middle, but I don't know. I'm sure we'll end up back here again, considering we live almost straight east-ish. I mean, slightly southeast of it in Charlotte. But now we're headed uh, 145 miles to uh, Boonton, I think it's called, or Boonton. Bonneville, I think. Oh, okay. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Something like that. Something kind of in between St. Louis and Kansas there. City. Yeah. <laughs> and there's an Electrify America there. Uh, we're currently at 183 miles of estimated range. We're going 144. And we have, uh, let's see, 90% charge. So, should be totally fine. Yes. <laughs> bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> We just arrived to, I think it's Boonville, I think is the name of the town. 
And we're gonna be activate, yeah, Boonville. We're gonna activate the station here. We'll go to detail, select charger. We're on number one. And there's another nearly matching ID4 next to us, but with the uh, black and brown interior, but a white Pro S uh, with gradient. And then there's a brand new bolt on the other side of that. So we're gonna hit start charge. And go plug in. And please plug in now. Once plugged in, please wait for your charge session to start. Well, we just finished up charging here in Boonville, Missouri. We charged to 100% because I was chatting with the owner of our uh, kind of twin ID4 behind us there, except they have the black interior with the brown accents. Um, but yeah, now we're heading to Q39 Barbecue in Overland Park, Kansas, kind of south kansas city metro of sorts and then i think we're gonna end up staying in lawrence kansas unless we suddenly decide we want to go to selena kansas which is unlikely <laughs> i just don't like it there it's pretty mediocre there <laughs> like it's not bad to spend a night there but i wouldn't really choose to be there yeah but kaylee's been editing some photos here from the arch and we're gonna hit the road oh and here are our stats from the last trip we drove 164 miles 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour and now at 100% it's estimating 202 miles of range we've definitely been uh, ripping it a bit we? I've been ripping it a bit Kaylee, where are we going for food? This restaurant, it's called Q39, and it's like a barbecue place, but like more like a sit-down barbecue place. So it's, I'm very excited. It's one of my favorite places here. And what are you gonna get? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. And what to were you saying? have sit good drinks. Hi, we Food, 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 food. Got itchy head. Food, 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 food. We just had delicious barbecue at Q39. We both had veggie burgers. They were delicious, but a bit spicy. Yeah, they had a little bit of kick to them. Uh, I put some tangy barbecue sauce on mine, and that was good. I had a Q39 Amber Ale, like their in-house partner beer with a local brewery. And Kaylee had two, what were they called, Ruby something? Ruby Hogs. Ruby Hogs with grapefruit vodka and stuff, and she's showing it. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to Sephora because Kaylee needs mascara. And then we're going to head to Lawrence, Kansas. We're deciding to stay a little bit closer than rather than go all the way to Selena. Did you like the food, Kaylee? Very good, much wow. What was a ramp in it? Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, focus. Ramp, right there, you see that? <laughs> we booked our hotel, we're staying at the Best Western Plus uh, in West Lawrence, Kansas, and we're gonna be going 39 miles west via the 10 tollway. And Kaylee, what'd you get at Sephora, which we went out of the way to the mall for? We did not go out of the way. We went three miles from the restaurant we went to. I'm giving you crap. What did you get at Sephora? Show the world. I got, I'm sure your predominantly male audience really cares <laughs> about this. I got some eyebrow gel to keep my eyebrows in place and some mascara. I'm sure the 1% <laughs> of female audience will care. What brand is it? Well, they have some males that wear makeup. This is true. The audience here is 1% female, just in case you were wondering. Ilya. Ilya. Is, I, have I you had it before? Been. Yeah, this is like... Is it, it good? Yep. Okay. And if you send them your, your materials back, they will recycle them properly. And I appreciate that. Okay. 
But we're gonna hit the road. Um, we'll get there about 6.45. It's 6.03 right now. Where are we, Kaylee? Lawrence, Kansas? We made it to our, our hotel. hotel. Best Western Plus? Yeah, Best Western Plus, West Lawrence. It's quite the mouthful. We're gonna get checked in, but let me show you some stats from today. So for this charge, we drove 156 miles, 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. And since this morning, we've driven 320 miles, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. We were driving pretty quick today. And we've crossed over a thousand miles so far on this trip. And I believe we have about 600 miles for tomorrow. And here's our charging for this evening. Uh, Sun Country Highway. I believe this is a 40 amp. Let's see. Oh, 48 amp up to, so we shall see. It's a very heavy cable. Make sure it charges. I heard contactors click, that's always a good sign. Is it chilly, Kaylee? Oh, I'm struggling. Why are you struggling, Kaylee? I have so much stuff out. So oh. much. Have you considered organizing a little bit before we go in? I'm doing that right now, that's what I'm doing. The issue was is I had to take so much stuff out today oh. while we were driving. Well, it's because we took photos and stuff. I was impatient and didn't wait till we got here to deal with them. And here you can see we're charging at 30 miles per hour. I'd have to do the math, but I think that's like 10 kilowatt or so. And, or maybe actually 11 kilowatt. But yeah, we'll be done charging at basically midnight and we'll start the morning with full charge. We made it to the hotel. I look like a just ahead. I'm just ahead. Are you just ahead? I don't have a body anymore. I'm just ahead. Floating on the Brandon shoulder. Yeah, I'm your um, either your angel or your devil, whatever one you <laughs> think I am. Love that. Anyway, hotel room is fine. The hotel itself is pretty nice. The room is fine. Not the cleanest, I would say, but not bad. What? Just you. And tomorrow we'll be in Denver. And I get in and out, and I'm very excited. <laughs> All he has been saying for like pretty much since we moved to Charlotte is, I want in and out. Can we go get in and out? He literally one day like was like, We're flying to Texas. We're going to get in. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said Salt Lake. Whatever. Somewhere. He's like, Let's just fly out. It's fine. <laughs> I, need, I, I like my in and out. If you agree that In-N-Out is amazing and worth flying somewhere for, comment down below. I want to hear it. Yikes. We'll see you guys in the morning. Why is this bag growing? I swear it's not. I thought it would be smaller too because I switched shoes and these ones are bigger. Oh, well, you are your unplugged dash. Can we? Yeah. Good morning from Lawrence, Kansas. Good morning. Kaylee, you're very chipper this morning. What has you so excited? I got. Maybe it'll focus. We it's got kind of focused. Dark chocolate almond milk, which I'm so excited about because I love chocolate almond milk. And I was shocked when the hotel had it. Yeah. But anyway, we're off to Salina, Kansas as our first stop. We're charged up to 100% overnight. Uh, should be a very brief stop in Salina, but we'll probably grab some Starbucks, ironically, at the supercharger convenience station thing. Uh, and then we'll head to the Electrify America on the other side of the interstate 
And then we'll continue on. We're headed to Denver tonight. Why do I look like a ghost and you look like a tan <laughs> goddess? <laughs> I don't know. What is this? <laughs> Can I just... We've arrived to Salina, Kansas, and Kaylee's plugging us in. We already activated it on the Electrify American CarPlay app. It's very wet inside the hole. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some water to get it out. Let's see here as it ramps up. It says connecting to vehicle. Hopefully you guys can see that. Initiating charging. We were ripping it pretty hard over here. So I think we're down to like 17% or so. I got the 20% warning and that was like probably 10, 15 miles out to continue. It's actually kind of chilly here. Yeah, 16% and ramping up. Let's see if we get the full 125 kilowatt. I certainly hope so. And looks like we're going to and full 125 kilowatt awesome so here we are charging up at four miles per minute that's based on our efficiency so otherwise it would be higher and let me show you guys our efficiency so so far today we've driven 131 miles we went from a hundred percent down to 16% in 131 miles, 2.1 mile per kilowatt hour. And so far this trip, almost 1150 miles, 2.7 mile per kilowatt hour. I forgot to mention it was also very uh, windy and we had a headwind uh, going west across Kansas. So that was certainly a factor for the poor efficiency as well. I was not going that fast. The <laughs> ID4 can only go 100 miles an hour. So you can't go that fast. We're going to have to charge a lot today because we're still heading in that direction, right? A lot longer. I mean, we'll just be hopping from Electrify America to Electrify America across the entire state of Kansas. But we'll have to stop more than we did yesterday just because of the headwind, right? Uh, Probably, yeah. Big sad. It's but, longer. But it'll be easier. Yeah. You realize you just make me want to leave Dutch then, right? But my eyes are so pretty. Yeah. How'd you look at them? Okay. Are we both in the shot? No, I'm re retrieving my. I gotta retrieve my sheep belt. Hold up. <laughs> Yikes. Must put the sheep belt on. Safety first. Okay. We're we charge what? Uh, okay. What were you I don't know. You go. We charged up to 81% here in Salina, Kansas, and now we're headed to the Tesla Supercharger, aka where there is Starbucks. It's one exit west of here. Uh, we're taking some side roads kind of through Salina, and then we're gonna grab coffee, maybe a snack or something, use the restroom, and head to 97 or so miles to Hayes, Kansas, which is also essentially at the same location as the Tesla Supercharger there. I've actually walked over to that Walmart that the Electrify America is at when I was at the Supercharger that's at the Applebee's there. And we're again embracing our fall drinks at Starbucks. We got our Apple Crisp Macchiatos. I didn't have all milk though, so we had to get almond milk. Oh, yeah, big sad. But yeah. uh, I mixed up where I thought this was. Turns out the the supercharger I was thinking of with the Starbucks is actually in Colby, which is way west of here. And the supercharger in this town is actually at a Holiday Inn Express, not far from here, but not at this truck stop. So I had no idea that you were, had it wrong. I was just I just thought you. Had you just that. went along with it. Yeah, I had no idea. Okay. But but now we're headed to Hayes. We just 
rolled into the Hayes Electrify America at Walmart. If you've watched some of my really old videos, you've seen me segue over here from the supercharger not that far away. And you saw Kaylee's adventures with the traffic here on our Model oh, X road yeah. trip. But we stopped, we got some Qdoba, and we're gonna enjoy it while we charge. We rolled in with 11%, so definitely burned through some battery ripping it and again with the headwind and in case anyone's run what wondering the construction that i was complaining about in the model x video still here <laughs> <laughs> and here's our efficiency or uh, lack of efficiency so there we go we're charging and so far today we're at 500 watt hour per mile or two miles per kilowatt hour at over 228 miles and 1.8 mile per kilowatt hour for this leg over the course of 97 miles. Definitely pretty bad. We just finished charging up to 87% in Hayes, Kansas. And we found a friend if I can show you. Maybe. <laughs> There's a Mach-E back there, whether you can see it or not. I don't know. But we're getting to Colby, Kansas now and it's 105 miles. Did you enjoy your Qdoba, Kaylee? Yeah, it was good. I certainly enjoyed mine. It was a struggle to eat it, though. Because it was such a round burrito? Yeah. Yeah, I got three tacos, and I eat them with a fork and knife because I'm a weirdo. And they're too loaded to actually pick up. Okay, we got now. We're charging. Colby, Kansas. We rolled in with 16% because I ran it quite low. Again, heavy wind, ripping it. We're up to 71%. We ran into our uh, twin ID4 friends from yesterday again on our way to Denver. Uh, this is the last stop in Kansas, hallelujah. And then we'll be in Colorado. Do we have one more stop there? Oh, well, two probably. Yeah, I think we have two more stops before the hotel just so we can get to the hotel with a decent amount of charge for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're running, use the potty, probably charge up to like 85% or so and continue on for 110 miles. Go potty. We charged up to 91% here in Colby, Kansas. Now we're headed 110 miles to Flagler, Colorado and we'll be going back an hour, uh, probably just a little bit west of here I think. Should be an easy drive, pretty much straight west. We made it to Flagler, Colorado. This is our first charging stop in Colorado. Uh, I think I'm gonna go out and fly the drone and then we also need to figure out uh, where we're going in Colorado for charging or if we wanna charge up all the way here or what, because we wanna go to In-N-Out and Costco before we go to our hotel because we're the most predictable people ever. Do we want to? Because I don't want to do either of those things. Oh, I want to do both of those things. <laughs> do we want to? Because I don't want to. But this one's pretty cool. I'll show you guys with the drone, but it's uh, I-70 diner, so kind of like retro style. I don't know if it wants to focus on the diner versus just my mirror. Oh, I'm tired. There we go, maybe. And there's a guy here doing maintenance on the Electrify America station, so that's pretty cool. And over there. And he drives a Nero EV, so cool to see that they're using EVs for their maintenance vehicles. They obviously have to. How else would they... I mean, I guess if they could... Like, so many Electrify Americas are empty with cars, they can't just be like, Hey, can you try this out for me? I mean, true, but you never know. And here are our stats from the last drive. And since we left this morning, 440 miles in. And for the whole trip so far, 1453 miles. So efficiency is dropping as we keep driving quickly and with a major headwind. And today, since we left, we've gone up about 4,000 feet in elevation. So that's certainly not helping efficiency. This is the first time flying with my new phone, so we'll see how this goes. See if it wants to. Oh, go fly. That that's a good sign.
charged up to 91%. Kaylee's being a goon over here uh, at the I-70 Diner here in Flagler, Colorado. And now we're headed to Costco in Aurora, Colorado, and then in and out, and then probably charging, or we might flip around the order of those, but they're all within about two miles of each other. So we'll do all those, then head to the hotel. How was your stop, Kaylee? Boring. Oh, okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the drone shots. And it's 120 miles from here in Flagler all the way to Aurora, which is kind of east metro of Denver. We just got in and out. Uh, it was delicious. I got my animal fry, my grilled cheese animal style. Got a shake. Kelly doesn't love in and out, but I do. So I, we get every once in a while. Now we're headed to the hotel. We'll probably charge on our way there and call it a night. We made it. We made it to Colorado. We're staying at the Delta Hotel Thornton, I think it's called, something like that. I think so. It's a former Ramada hotel that was closed during COVID and renovated to be a new Delta. And it seems pretty darn nice. There's a Starbucks in the lobby, a Tony Roma in the lobby. Um, Do they say what time the pool's open till? 10. We might have to go down there. Go splish splash. Kaylee calls pool time splish splash. Do you like going splish splash? Stop it. <laughs> You're like, I'm being talked to like I'm a child. Sometimes. Why are you watching the TV instead of being on the video? It's very distracting. It's got lots of graphics. Oh, it's saying good evening, Brandon, and it's running through the Marriott, like, promo reel. But anyway, uh, we did about 1,500 miles. I'll show you, or I'll put an overlay with the stats from us arriving here. Uh, it was very uneventful. It was... Probably as uneventful as driving a Tesla would be, I think. What do you think, Kaylee? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I mean, every single time we just started the charger, plugged in, charged, didn't have any issues. We had to swap stalls once because I was dumb and plugged into a station that was clearly labeled as unavailable. And then just now at the Walmart that we stopped at on our way, just to top off before we came to the hotel since we don't have charging it dropped down to 36 kilowatt after a couple minutes but again swap stalls totally fine i've done that many times while supercharging and i don't consider that really an issue that's just like a minor inconvenience and you swap stalls and continue on didn't stop us from charging didn't stop us from going on talking a lot okay anyway thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this if you have any questions about id4 road tripping comment down below but this is just the start of quite a few videos in this series because we're not just going from charlotte to colorado we're going from colorado to uh, an unknown destination at this point and then eventually back to charlotte but if you enjoyed this hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time bye